As we said, biceps fem has got two heads. Um, so one that comes off the issue of tuberosity onto the fibula, one that comes off the back of the femur, and then um, down onto the uh, fibula head as well. Palpate it, just sort of some cross fibre and differentiating between the lateral hamstring, so biceps fem and semitendinosis, semimembranosis medially. We can do that via um, sort of internal, external rotation of the knee, getting them to actively do it, palpate the contractions, sort of medial and lateral. Palpating through the muscle. Generally, trigger points arise in the distal half of the muscle, so that might be the spot you kind of go for. Like that. And we said that through here, the sciatic nerve is quite deep, like it is sort of deep to the muscle. Um, in terms of probably becomes more prominent um, more of a caution with your needling as you come further down because it's obviously less deep because the muscle is not as, as bulky through here um, so with that then what we would do is we would always still try and tip the needle laterally so you're going away from that, that midline and away from that side of the nerve within the muscle and just feeling for a band and then a trigger point in there. Nice like that, so I'm hooking on there. I'm just starting the needle a little bit medial to where I think it needs to go. So then I can tip laterally and hit that spot. So this generally a um, I'll generally use sort of like a a 40 mil needle or bigger for that. They generally respond pretty well as well if you can get a twitch or you can sort of hit, hit the required spot. <laughs> as we said, referred, I guess the dominating referred pain from this is more posterior, posterior knee.